everyone welcome to the channel so today i will show you the part 2 of supervised image classification using sentinel 2a image so previously we have seen how to load a sentinel 2a image into earth engine how to set a visualization parameter and how to create a training data for our supervised classification model now in this video i will show you how to import our training data into supervised classification model and how to perform an accuracy assessment and finally how to download our classified image so to import our training data, first let us merge our training data together. So this are, these are the training data, water, buildup, vegetation, barren and roads. So to merge this, we have created, uh, we created a variable called training equals to water dot merge, buildup dot merge, vegetation dot merge and barren dot merge. So to view this data, so we have uh, defined print training. So now let us view this. Let me remove this. So now go to the option called run script and click run script. So now let us view the merged uh, training data together in the console section. So it is visible in the console section. So we have features of around 369 elements. So that is, uh, you can uh, add this all these elements together. We get around 361 elements. Let us view this features. So right from starting from zero, we have up to a uh, lot of features up to 369 elements. So let us view this. So this feature indicates, so class zero. So class zero, it is a uh, water. Class one is bred up and class two is vegetation. Class three is barren and class four is road. And similarly, let me show you other features. So this feature indicates, uh, so it is a class one. So class one feature indicates that is build up, build up areas. And similarly, so 259, so indicates a class two feature. So class two feature is zero, one, two, that is vegetation. So it provides a lot of uh, information related to our features. So now let us create a parameter that is will be used to import our training data into a supervised classification model. So for that, we defined a variable called uh, label equals to class. So class here, refers to our training data sets. So in the training data set, we are defined uh, as a class during our training, uh, creating a training data. So for that, we referred as a class. So now well, what are the bands we're going to use to perform this classification? So for that, we're going to find a variable called bands. So we're going to use band two, band three and band four and band eight. So band two, three and four are red, blue and green and band eight is of uh, near infrared. So all the four bands of uh, 10 meter resolution. So now to input this image into a, so select this bands, we have to define variable called input equals to image. So image refers to a sentinel image. So this is here, so indicate it here. This is a sentinel uh, image, image dot select bands. So bands here refers to this variable. So it selects the band two, three, four and eight. So next we have to uh, train our model. So in order to train our model, we have to overlay the points on the imagery. That is our training points on the imagery to, uh, to train our model. So for that, we defined a variable called train image equals to input, input dot sample region and collection referring to training and properties that is of label and uh, scale is of 10 meter resolution. So properties here label refers to this variable. So what we're doing is uh, in this function, uh, in this particular function we are doing is we're extracting a sentinel uh, bands from our using our training data. So next what we're doing is uh, we are from the training data, we are using 80% uh, of the data to perform our supervised classification. And the next 20% of our data we are using for validation of our, to check for the validation of our classified image. So the 80% of the data will be used for classification and the 20% of the data will be used for validation. So for that, we could define a variable called training data equals to train image. So the train image, uh, train image here refers to this variable. So dot random column. So it will generate random uh, points where the 80% of the data will be used for our classification purposes and remaining 20% of the data will be used for validation to check for the accuracy. 
So now uh, we define a variable called training data equals to train image dot random column function and uh, define a variable called train set. So train set equals to training data dot filter doubly dot filter less than uh, less than that is uh, random points with uh, 80 percent so it will uh, it, uh, shows that the 80 percent of the data will be used for our supervised classification and similarly the variable we are defined a variable called test set in this the 20 percent of the variable will be used for validation to test for the accuracy of our supervised classification image so for that we defined a variable called test set equals to training data dot filter Double dot filter dot greater than or equals to random 0 0.8. So it will be greater than uh, 80 refers to 20% uh, of the data will be used for validation. So now to perform our supervised image classification. So we need it uh, we need to input our training data into a model. So for that we defined a variable called classifier equals to double dot classifier dot smile cart. So cart here refers to classified regression tree technique. So a tree method that is uh, used for classification of our image. The dot train refers to uh, train set. So train set here refers to this variable. That is our 80% uh, of the data will be used for uh, classification and label here refers to this, this variable. So this specific variable where we have mentioned the bands and uh, the bands here refers to this variable. So we are using band 2, 3, 4 and band 8. So next we have to uh, classify the image. So to classify the image, we defined a variable called classified equals to input dot classify classifier. So classifier as a variable here. So we are importing our model into this uh, model into for uh, classification. So we are using the referring to this variable. So this variable is of a, is a, it is of a classification model. So to get the details about this uh, image, we are just mentioning print classify dot get info function so next to kind of a color palette for our classification we defined a variable called land cover palette and uh, this specific number will represent our this for this particular feature and uh, that is the blue represents water and build up represents red color and similarly for uh, baron it is represented in this color so to add the supervised classified image into our earth engine we have defined map dot add layer classified so classified here refers to our classifier so this variable so this variable classify our image into a, a supervised classification based on our training uh, samples and for the palette here your palette here refers to our land cover palette that is a visualization parameter this represents this variable and we set a minimum value of one and to a maximum value of six and output the lay name as classification now to check for the accuracy of our uh, supervised classified image, we have to perform some an accuracy assessment. So to perform this accuracy assessment, we have to, uh, so we are going to use our, that is our test set variable. So previously I have said that uh, we are using uh, two different variables. One is train set in which 80% of the variable is used for classification and test set the 20% of the variable will be used for validation. So here, uh, using that uh, particular variable test set and to generate a confusion matrix so to generate a confusion matrix we defined a variable called confusion matrix equals to doubly dot confusion matrix test set dot classify classifier so classify classifier here refers to so the classifier here refers to our model let me show you that so this is a variable classifier refers to our cart model that is classification and regression tree So dot error matrix so actual class represents our training samples and predicted represents our classified image so it compares both the actual and predicted uh, uh, predicted classes the actual uh, and predicted in order to identify the accuracy of our image so to view our confusion matrix all we have to do is define a print confusion matrix and the layer name confusion matrix and uh, next to see the overall accuracy of our supervised classified image we have to uh, print we have to, to view that we have to define print overall accuracy and confusion matrix dot accuracy function so in this way you can check for your accuracy of your your classified image from the uh, training sample
So now at last we have to export our classified image to our Google Drive. So for that we define export.image dot to our drive. So image here represents. So the image here represents classified. So to export our uh, classified image to a Google Drive, we have to define export dot image dot to drive. Image here represents classified. So classified here refers to our final image that is this one variable cloud classified and the description is the sentinel 2a classified cart and scale is so scale is around 10 meter resolution let me change this so scale is around 10 meter resolution and region is roi the study region is represented roi region of interest and maximum pixel is represented in this value so now let us run this code go to the option called run script click run script now let us view our accuracy of our classified image and the confusion matrix. So now you can clearly but if you have this is our confusion matrix. So this is our confusion matrix and this is our overall accuracy of our classified uh, supervised classified image that is 98.41 percentage. So this is our overall accuracy of our classified image. Now let us view our classified image. So let us view our classified image. So this is our classified image. You can uh, clearly able to view here. So the water bodies are here indicated in blue color and the settlements are here indicated in the red color and the barren are here indicated in this, that is uh, in this color. So here you can uh, clearly able to view here, the water bodies are indicated in this uh, water that is in blue color and the settlements and the road networks are here indicated in the green color. So we can also change the color of this composition. So right here, right in this classified image, the color is kind of different because water body is represented in blue color and the road networks and the settlements are here represented in green color. And let me show you that. So here, the water bodies and settlements are here. Let me zoom. So this part of this being indicated in. So that is indicated in uh, green color. And the barren lands are here indicated in red color. And the vegetations are vegetations are here represented in. So you can now clearly able to view here. So the water body is indicated in blue and the vegetation is indicated in this color. And the barren lands are uh, yeah, the water body is indicated in this, in this color. And uh, let me show see this what is this color represents. So this particular color represents barren. So let me turn this on. So this color is as a barren color. Now let us view the settlements. These are the different settlement areas. So settlements are indicated in this color that is in green color. So these are the settlements. The roads in this color is represented. Roads in the build up areas are represented in this light green color. And uh, vegetations are represented in red color. So can clearly able to view we can almost classify all the we can uh, see all different types of features in the study area so you can also change the color of this uh, so you can go to this option and change the color according to your wish suppose if you want to change this color to a black so so go to this option called geometry imports go to the edit properties so you can uh, see this number here. Yeah. So you can also change the color composite. So let me down. Suppose you want to choose a black color. Just copy it and paste it uh, in this section. So you paste it in the section. You can change the color of this features. So last we have to uh, export our, uh, to download the supervised classified image to our Google Drive. So for that, so go to the, go to the task section. So here there is a task section is available. So here, so unsubmitted task. So to export your uh, classified Sentinel image to your Google Drive, all you have to do is click run. So to export this, so it is a 10 meter resolution and EPSG coordinate system and uh, it will be exported to our drive, file name and GeoTIFF for file format. So to uh, export this image to your Google Drive, all you have to do is click run. So in this video, I have shown you how to perform a supervised image classification using a Sentinel-2A image. And I have shown you how to uh, 
load a sentinel image, set a visualization parameter and how to create a training data and, uh, and how to classify our image and set a default, default visualization parameter and assess the accuracy of our uh, classified image and finally to export our supervised classified image to our Google Drive. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and visit like. So now you can clearly able to view here. So our Sentinel 2A image has been uploaded to our Google Drive. So you can open your Sentinel image just by open your drive and download. Download your supervised classified image. Thanks for watching and subscribe to our channel.